Numerous movies and TV shows have taught us that we can catch liars by closely looking out for the dilation of their pupils. But, they don't address the difficulties associated with following such a practice. What if the person is wearing sunglasses, as do some poker players for the exact same reason? What if the conversation is taking place via phone call, where you can't see their face? Or worse yet, what if you creeped out a completely innocent person by ogling their eyes? In real life there are simpler ways of catching lies, and all it takes is a little bit of attentiveness, and a little bit of practice. In this video, we will discuss the 73855 rule which can be used for lie detection. Don't worry, it's a simple formula based on the Morabian model, and the very basic step of lie detection or studying human behavior in general. What this rule basically says is that human interactions can be divided into three groups, each carrying its own weightage. The first is content of the conversation which carries a weightage of 7%. Second is the tone of the voice which carries a weightage of 38%. And at last, the body language of the person which carries a weightage of 55%. As you can see, body language and tone carry more weightage than the actual content of the conversation. In our everyday lives, we concentrate on the exact opposite. We always try to analyze the verbal part of a communication, trying to find flaws and disconnects completely ignoring other non-verbal cues which hold the key to knowing the validity of the facts being presented to us. The surefire way of correctly reading tone and body language is to identify baselines and spot deviations. Always remember that lies can be told in many different ways, but the truth is told in one particular way. Thus, establish comfort to identify the way the truth is told and set it as your baseline. From there, start looking for deviations to catch the lies. Now, is it possible to catch an entire group of liars using this method? You can often find yourself negotiating with a group of people, for instance, say a group that is trying to sell you insurance or just a group of salesmen trying to sell you a car. These things happen to everybody at some point in their lives, and in such cases almost invariably, you will be lied to about the product in question, so that you buy it, possibly at a price higher than it begs. The best way to come out on top in such situations is to target the person in the group who speaks the least, don't worry, if you look closely you will find one. If you suddenly change the direction of the conversation and particularly address that one single person, he or she is going to be taken aback and thus, potentially betray the intention of the group, which is exactly what you are looking for in order to establish command. Remember that not always will people tell outright lies to you, instead they will just avoid the truth completely. In such cases, if you successfully call their bluff, they will eventually give you the truth. Now, have you ever heard of the Pinocchio effect? You might have heard of the Italian fictional character named Pinocchio whose nose grows in length every time he lies. In real life however, what grows in length are the sentences being spoken by the lying man in order to convince you that he is speaking the truth. This is a very common, yet often overlooked phenomenon. Even the mention of this might ring some bells in your head about some people in your own life who match the description quite well. The truth is always stated simply as a fact, with minimal effort exhausted, in order to make it sound convincing. A lie on the other hand, is always decorated and presented in a way that makes you want to believe it. Now that you know how to spot liars, what should be your response to their lies? Knowing that you are being lied to is not nearly as important as knowing the truth. Catching a lie may make you feel good about yourself, but what good does it do if you still can't find the truth? The best way to uncover the truth is not by a reaction filled with accusatory remarks, but a response of tonal curiosity. 
A direct approach of pointing out a lie is seldom successful, however, a smooth comment like something seems to be bothering you gives you a better chance. When someone is lying, they obviously have their guards up. The goal is to have them put their guards down, and then the truth will start flowing like a stream down a hill. Now that we have come to the end of this video, use the comment section below to share your interesting stories, where you have been lied to, or maybe even when you caught a liar. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, so that we can keep these videos coming.